We take a simple and easy strategy and run it for one year on five different currency pairs. What could happen? Keep watching to find out. What I like about running this channel is the number of strategies we receive from our audience all the time. For example, today, we are testing one of the most unique and simple forex trading strategies I have ever seen. We will also talk about a huge mistake that many traders make that prevents them from being successful traders. Profitable strategies are not necessarily complex and challenging to apply. Sometimes, a simple trading strategy could be tremendously profitable. We have seen plenty of examples on this channel in the past. Today we will apply the exact same strategy on five different forex pairs. I mean, if it works on all of them, would that make it a great strategy in your opinion? Well, I guess so. As usual, we will describe the strategy, look at some examples from the chart, then begin backtesting to find out if this strategy is worth it. I will share the full results at the end of the video. So make sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's get into it. To run this strategy, we need one single technical indicator. No worries, it's absolutely free and can be found on most trading platforms, including TradingView, MT4, etc. The indicator is called PMO, which stands for Price Momentum Oscillator. I won't get too much into details, but what you need to know is that the Momentum Oscillator measures the amount that a security's price has changed over a given period. The Momentum Oscillator is the current price divided by the previous period's price, and the quotient is multiplied by 100. The result is an indicator that oscillates around 100. But what do we need to know at this stage? I am not a big fan of complex explanations, so I try to find the easiest way to explain how this indicator works. PNO is simply measuring price acceleration and the trend's direction. Normally, the PMO direction indicates if the strength is increasing or decreasing, while the steepness of the trend angle demonstrates the power behind the move. Like other oscillators, the PMO gives hints of important direction changes by forming divergences against the price index. To get PMO, you calculate price change and apply exponential moving average to it twice. Respectfully, when the price moves up, we have positive price changes and PMO moves up. When the price declines, we have negative P&O changes. P&O indicators come with two lines, the P&O line in blue and the signal line in red color. You should consider buying when you see P&O crossing above its signal line and go short when it crosses below it on a forex or stock chart. You might be wondering, what about the exit strategy? Well, nothing complicated. If the price goes in our favor, we will exit as soon as we make 2% of our account. If the price goes against us, we close the tray as soon as we are down by 1%. In simple words, we are opting for a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. We will apply this strategy on 5 different forex pairs to prove a certain point later in this video, so keep watching to find out. Alright, let's look at two examples from the market. This is the Euro USD chart. We can see that the PO line in blue has just crossed above the signal line in red. It's time to go long, so we immediately enter the market with a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. By the way, the strategy is only applicable on one hour time frame. Looks like a winning setup. We could also exit a part of our trade and keep riding this impressive uptrend, which could have made us some solid profit in my opinion. Never mind, let's stick to our strategy. Before we backtest this strategy to find out if it's profitable or not, let's look at another example from the chart. Again, the rules are simple. We go short as soon as the PMO line crosses below the signal line. That's what we have here. So we immediately enter the market with a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. We can begin by positioning the stop loss somewhere above a key level. Then we simply double up the number of pips to position our take profit. This is probably the safest way to proceed. The price took some time before it hit the take profit, but we managed to exit the trade with a great return. Anyways, let's begin backtesting and see whether this is a profitable strategy or not. I will backtest every single forex pair separately, then we can compare the final results. While waiting, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content. It takes a second of your time, but it helps the channel grow. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here. I will try the same strategy on 5 different currency pairs. If you are wondering what software we are using to backtest this strategy, I invite you to watch the last video where we explained everything you need to know about it, the link should also appear on the screen now.
All right, these are the results. We can see that the strategy performed well on some of the Forex pairs here, including the Euro USD and USD JPY. We recorded a growth of 6.68 and 10.71% respectively. So if we trade these two pairs simultaneously, we might make up to 17% growth, which is impressive. The drawdown is extremely high on the USD JPY. 11.49 is a major red flag. If we analyze the performance of the buy and sell trades separately, we can notice something interesting. Somehow, the strategy performed extremely well when we are long on USD JPY and short on Euro USD. The same idea applies to the three other forex pairs we are analyzing today. That means if the USD is the base currency, it's better to be long. On the other hand, if USD is the quoted currency, it is recommended to sell. Well, to sum up, this strategy works essentially when you are long on USD. We can also use any other technical trading strategy if we have this information, which is the essence of fundamental trading. To prove that, let's test a simple trading strategy, a very simple one. Let's say exponential moving average crossover. We go long when 20 periods EMA crosses above 50 EMA and short when the opposite happens. I did a quick backtesting and ended up with the same results. So basically we would get the same performance if we used any strategy or indicator as we already know that the USD was appreciating throughout this year and here lies the beauty of fundamental trading. The moment you know for sure the currency is going up, the entry won't matter a lot as long as you're buying. I mean of course with some good risk management. We can confirm that by using a free tool available on forexmeter.de. This chart reflects the strength or the market sentiment of the major currencies. If we check the USD over this year, we can see that it has been bullish since January. So if we only trade with the trend, I am pretty sure that we will be making some great profit. And you could be using the least profitable technical strategy, but overall you are on the safe side. Another tool I also like to use is the currency strength meter provided by currencystrengthmeter.org. It is a graphical representation of the strength or weaknesses of currencies in the forex market. If you are a scalper, then I strongly advise you to look at these figures before entering the market. You should choose a pair that is made of the strongest and the weakest currency. We can see here that the best currency pairs to trade at the moment are Pound USD, Pound Swissy, and Pound JPY. So I went long on all of them after spotting the right entry. Just to let you know, I am currently testing this currency meter-based strategy using this $100 account. I have been trading on this account for two weeks, and so far, we have made 61% growth. The profit or win rate is around 59%. Let's face it, it's not enough to make any judgment at the moment, I just rely on the market sentiment and another technical indicator. Let me know if you want a video on this topic, or wait. Maybe we can make it an account growth challenge series, where we try to grow a $100 account using this strategy. How about that? Well, let me know in the comment section. That was all for today, feel free to check out the other videos on this channel. As usual, happy trading!